today we are going to discuss about the virtual agents so in our uh, today's video i will explain each and everything about virtual agent and example we'll discuss okay now let's we see here what is the <clears throat> result if you are going to uh, any kind of the query you are going to ask the uh, virtual agent now you can see here in this example if i want to just create a ticket so if i want to create a new ticket or otherwise if you want to check a uh, existing one also how it is possible everything it will be so appearing in this area now you can see simply i'm just creating a ticket simply i given my issue so in this when i'm submit my issue so simply i'll send it then it will create automatically a new record so new instant record will create in front of us right okay now let's we see how to configure this virtual agent okay <clears throat> in this area now you can see that go to virtual agent designer so simply you just enter the uh, virtual agent designer in your uh, left navigator simply click on new so whenever you are going to just use the uh, new virtual agent so designing uh, area you just create it and whenever you are uh, clicking on that new creation of the designing so you can just creating all the topics what kind of the topics you are going to just mention in this area you can give it the topic name and uh, you are going to provide the <coughs> rules and what is the topic informations and what is the uh, name of this your virtual agent so this uh, virtual is a example we are just using the so record searching or records we are going to use okay i'm going to explain i'm going to write a description also in this area so simply i'm just using all the informations which we are ready to just create it okay that's fine i think uh, everything is good now let's we continue after completion of this one we are going to just give a so nlu model also if anything if you want to just mention that uh, natural language understanding so you can provide and uh, which one can try to just utilize this uh, virtual agent so we are going to mention the roles also so simply i'm just using the uh, admin role or any itl role anything you can just mention but as of now i'm just given that itl and uh, what are the uh, channels we can use everything we are just we are giving any live agent support also be required or not everything you can mention so as of now i'm not providing any of the live agents simply i'm going to clicking on create okay so after clicking on create now you can see here <clears throat> so whenever we are going to click on so create now you can see that any channels are there any of the things means you can create incidents or anything just uh, keywords i just provided and simply clicking on create now you can see that after clicking on create now you will see that one dashboard like a uh, one uh, drawing area will appear this is a drag and drop methodology actually so in this area we are going to just use a different different type of like a uh, input controls we are using and uh, bot responses we are using everything right so this kind of the how we can use the input controls and text messages everything i explained in a uh, virtual agent course so if you are uh, ready to just purchase the virtual agent course and if you want to learn perfectly so you just go to the uh, i given uh, link in description you just click and you can check the each and everything what are the uh, input controls and the next one is a bot responses everything okay as of now just i use the uh, in text input control now just i given the what is the responses and just i'm going to provide the input values so for example and after completion of this one static input control also i'm just providing in this area and just we are using the what is a static input control means like a checking of a records so that's the reason i'm going to use to check the records so this virtual agent uh, is mean for only creating of a incident tickets or otherwise checking of existing so incident ticket so both it will be appear in this virtual agent means like a decision making so you know already very well about the ai technology so nowadays all people are using the ai technology same as this this virtual agent can also contain that kind of the logical things for example if any user can ask the question so the virtual agent can ready to understand what is a natural language understandings or there so it can try to uh, understand and can try to give a an answer and means reply it will give it to the user without any manual efforts okay so simply 
just I'm using the steps now you can see that what are the conditions we are using if any conditions we can use it in this area <clears throat> we can use it and simply we are thank you for providing your details because so if any uh, persons can write to give a reply for example I'm just uh, if any virtual agent can write to ask any of the questions and then uh, the user can give a reply then you can see uh, it will ask the it will give a uh, confirmations yes thank you for showing okay your information all those things right in this area decision area will we have the so two nodes are there one is a <clears throat> so positive one is a negative is nothing but so two nodes i'm not saying that positive and negative and now you can see that according to the two conditions for example uh, if i'm going to set a uh, incident record then how it is possible <clears throat> if any conditions depending on the condition i can set the record so now you can see that so condition we can keep it and the next one is a creating of a um, incident record is also there so whenever we are just using the any of the condition in this area so if the condition is if any user will give a, a reply so then according to the reply only it will either it will decide whether we need to create a ticket or otherwise so we need to create uh, we need to check the uh, existing one so everything it will be populate now you can see that i'm going to use the <coughs> so decision uh, like a information also like a looking uh, visibility of the particular checking of a searching of a incident tickets now you can see that i just provided uh, all those things so conditions also in which area we are going to get the conditions and everything okay so now let's we just we can remove this one i'm going to check the input control because of the reason so it will show some of the messages first of all so it will ask the questions or giving the user input for example uh, so whether before going to check the record means it will try to ask the yes you can provide your incident number otherwise what kind of the issues you have everything it will be right to ask so that's the reason just i'm using the uh, creating of a so input text box and it will ask the users to enter any of the informations for example just please enter your incident number otherwise uh, so please uh, after completion of the incident number it will show the one message like a so thank you for showing the uh, <coughs> incident number like this so simply is i completed now i'll I will go to the uh, record visibility so i'm looking of the so record so in this area again i'm going to provide the details <coughs> so search incident records so in which table we need to search so in an incident table we need to search the records and the conditions we are going to apply so if the user given the con uh, incident number for example the number is what the input variables and now you can see that incident number it provided so whenever the uh, user can provide the incident number that number it will try to carry to the incident table and it will check the records so if any uh, records are available then again it will be populate now you can see that and now it will come to the table response table response is nothing but for example if any uh, checking facility is available and then it will try to check the uh, incident table if any record is up here if any condition is uh, satisfied and it, any record will be ready to so coming to the particular incident number so then at the time what are the table response so the table can write to display the whether that is incident number and short description and everything so it can write to display so that's the reason so we given the table response also now you can see that display the records are there so if it is for example no records are available for example this is incident number no records are available then it will show the so no records are available on information also it will try to provide so in which fields how many fields are ready to uh, appear in front of you so all will be just uh, appearing uh, i'm going to just select the, all the fields and uh, ascending order descending order everything we are going to mention so after completion of this one now so one side with searching of your records are completed okay now let's we move to the uh, creating of a tickets right for example if any user can select the creating of a new ticket means definitely you can create a new ticket and then you can provide it is it right or not so that's the reason now there is a uh, issue what is the issue means it will ask that for example uh, if any creating of a new ticket means based on one issue it will create a ticket is it right or not so that's the reason it will ask the uh, issue so uh, the virtual agent will ask the customers so what is the issue 
so then the user can try to provide so after providing the issue then it will show the thank you for your providing your issue and everything it will be right to use it and now let's we go to the record okay uh creation or something right so incident create incident records i'm going to provide it and which table we are going to create in incident table right so i'm going to use it as an incident table and how many fields we can fill means now initially we are going to fill the short description field value is it right or not so that's the reason i'm just providing the uh, number is a <clears throat> what kind of the number we are going to provide so into variables and number area you can create the number and everything so which fields we need to fill automatically or otherwise user input information everything we are going to mention in this area like incident number and all those things okay now let's see here if you are going to just use the incident number okay so incident number are going to check the another field value also like a short description okay if anything right to just create it new one so state value everything i'm going to mention according to your requirement so as it is okay so if you want to just use it in your personal developer instance if you want to create your uh, virtual agent designing part and everything as it is if you want to create it you can create it but so according to your condition wise logically if you are going to just use any of the other conditions or anything so definitely you can create your new one and as per your requirement as you can use it now you can see that all configurations and everything will be very simple and one more thing i'm going to inform you so here we are ready to write a little bit scripting also and that to those who don't have knowledge on a scripting that people also can able to write a scripting easily that is very very important and very easy thing in your virtual agent see most of the people will say that sir i don't have any knowledge on scripting is it possible to uh, use a virtual agent to run a virtual agent absolutely perfect okay reason behind so uh, in a scripting area without knowing your scripting also we can easy to write okay we can easy to write the uh, scripting okay how to write means i will show it to you don't worry so simple all the informations will be in a scripting area all the information all scripting will be available but it in a comments so you just write to remove the comments and then you can use the uh, your uh, existing variable names so according to the logic wise you can use it you can change the variable names that's it so everything will be perfect okay now you can see that so record uh, displaying of a records and uh, searching of records everything we are going to create it simple drag and drop methodology now you can see that conditions are very very simple you can provide your logical conditions and each and every area so you can test it okay after completion of this one i'll definitely i'll test it with really it is the creating of a new uh, incident records or otherwise searching of a uh, existing record everything i'm going to uh, show it to you in this video now let's we see here so we given see here in this area so we have the condition and if you want to manually you can utilize the condition you can utilize it or otherwise you can go to the scripting area also it is possible you can go to the scripting area so as of now i'm going to just condition only not for the scripting area so how it will be i will show it to you now let's we check so i'm going to just use the condition i given and if it is a no records will be displayed means so many no records are so created so that's fine created or display and uh, what kind of the fields we need to dis display to the user for example you are going to uh, you already just created one record from your input so then it will try to show the uh, incident number a short description <coughs> any any of the values it will be ready to appear is it right okay i think that's fine so we are going to end the so information now you can see that by ending of that also it will try to showing up a one information like a thank you for choosing so chatbot so simply i'm just providing one information thank you for choosing so uh, what does it means like a chatbot or anything you just virtual agent so virtual agent chatbot or anything you can use it okay i think that's fine so after completion of this one i'm going to uh, give a logic i'm going to give a condition to this area i'm going to write again 
so end note that's fine and now we given the text one everything is fine i'm going to give a connection to this area that's fine okay the connection was established perfectly okay now this is the simple flow we written so uh, for the workflow so workflow designing completed for searching of a new record or otherwise creating of a new record so now you can see whenever we are going to save and we are going to test it now let's we check really we are going to test the records or not so now i'm going to mention now see here welcome to watch the education is there whenever we are just using the high okay simply the user given input high now you can see the right side it is showing the flow and it will ask the uh, two options whether you want to create it or search a record okay for example i want to search a new record so definitely thank you for choosing your okay information and please provide your incident number for example i am going to provide a our existing one okay so existing um, incident number i'm going to provide in this area now you can see so i'm going to provide the existing number simply now you can see so thank you for choosing your input and then that record information incident number state value short description everything it will be right to provide and thank you for choosing your chart bot everything it is providing and now i'm going to just create a new incident ticket okay is it possible to create the new incident ticket or not now you can see here i'm going to create it the ticket so simply i'm going to create it now thank please provide your issue so i'm going to just use a issue so really the issue is ready to just um, appear or not i'll show it to you i'm just providing my issue so what is a short description i'm going to provide after completion of this one now let's we it will give a information now you can see that so new record was created and thank you for choosing your chart board so this kind of information so i will try to provide in your virtual agent area okay now so very simple and easy and very very simple area you can create your new virtual agent and this kind of the virtual agents or chart boards we can use in your portal area also okay so i think you like this video if you are going to uh, if you like this video please click on uh, like button and one more thing if you want to learn the uh, virtual agent full course so perfectly the step by step if you want to learn definitely so you can learn it I, the courses are available in our uh, varshita online courses dot in website or otherwise in our description also i'm going to provide the link you can just click on click in the uh, description and then you should learn perfectly how to create the virtual agent okay thank you very much